Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a video that I have just decided to film because I got so many comments on my recent Q&A on Instagram about how to do uh, my makeup. I actually showed, um, I did an Instagram story of my makeup last night because I said I was loving these pinky tones and then I've, I've since received messages and questions about what I've been using. So I thought, you know what? I had a video to film today. I wasn't sure what I was gonna film it on. So I thought, let's do a makeup tutorial. You know I'm not a makeup expert by any means. This is just what works for me, what I like, um, and how I created the look that I shared on Instagram last night. So I hope you enjoy it, something a little bit different from me. Um, so let's get into the look. So I've started by pinning my hair off my face with this clip from The Way. Um, and I'm gonna go in first with this. I'm almost out of it, actually. So it's this SPF from Beauty Pie. It's called Featherlight, um, and it's SPF 50, but it's a sunscreen and a primer. Um, and you don't need too much of it, actually. And just go in all together, all over with this. I will have a skincare reel coming soon, so I didn't want to kind of go into too much depth about that on here. And then I absolutely love a face spray. So this is MZ Skin Anti-Pollution Hydrating Mist. Um, and I like to apply this all throughout the day actually. So it says you can apply after cleanser, all over, you can apply after you've um, done your makeup to set it and kind of throughout the day and it kind of protects your skin, sets your makeup, etc. and it just feels really nice, refreshing and hydrating on your skin. I actually went out last night, not nothing crazy, but I feel like I'm a little bit tired today. I really like the worst day to do a makeup tutorial or maybe the best because hopefully it'll give me a glow. So I'm all about the winter glow at the minute, I think your skin, well my skin gets quite dry. So it's so nice to have that mist to just kind of feel really refreshed. So I'm going to go in with my Beauty Pie. You can see this is well loved. Um, it's a super luminous um, under eye genius corrector. I actually just put this all over my eye as well. So you can see the difference between the two eyes even that out. Okay, I'm already feeling a little bit more glowy. So I've actually been using the Rose Ink um, Concealer as a bit of a foundation because it is quite thick. Now the shade is LX040 and it seems to be a pretty good shade for me. I just kind of take bits of it because I don't like a heavy foundation for day to day. I just take of bits and dot it around my face. I'm gonna blend that all in. So once that's done, I go in with the Laura Mercier Concealer. This is a Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear and it's in the shade 1W, so it's actually a lighter shade than normal and I just go under the eye with it. And then I go back with the MZ Skin. Just to kind of set it a little bit. So after a minute, I'll just blend that all in with a beauty blender. So then it's a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder to finish. I actually, I just use a tiny bit just underneath the eye and on my nose, which is the kind of shiniest place on my face. The rest isn't too bad. A little bit on the T-zone, but I don't really do any where else on the face. So then it's a little bit of bronzer. Again, this is one from Beauty Pie. They have the most amazing products. So I'll link what I can below. Just a bit on the forehead. So my blush, I've kind of demolished this actually. It's the Rose Ink one. I have been using it religiously every day in the color Anemone. I think that's how you say it. I just kind of do tops of my cheeks and then try and take it all the way up. So finishing off the face with some uh, highlighter. This one is the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. It's kind of comes out like a liquid. This is from Beauty Pie again. 
and I absolutely adore this. I usually just kind of dot it on my um, finger and then kind of work my way around the top of my cheekbones. I went through a stage of not putting this on actually and then I put it on the other day, filmed a reel with it and I could really see it in the reel even though it was like a far away reel. So definitely, definitely is worth adding a bit of extra gloss and shimmer to your skin. So both sides are done, hands have been washed, and I'm gonna move on to eyes with this palette from Bobbi Brown. So I've actually not been using this palette that much, um, but it's a really, really nice one for you know, those pinky tones, party season, but without being too over the top. So I'm going to take this color here. Now the palette is called High Bar Eyeshadow Palette. I think this shadow is called Sweet Opus and I feel like they might do some of these shadows in different palettes um, so they take some of the colours and mix them into different palettes. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and take that all over the eye. So I'll do on the same on the other lid and then I'll blend them both in and then do it under the eye actually going to be filming a party reel today so I kind of want a bit of a glam look this is definitely one you can use for every day as well so I've tried to make sure that's as blended as possible I just find it so hard to blend in eyeshadow really well I'm just going to take the same color and then pop it under the eye then I'm going to take, there's two really nice goldy shades in here, but I think I'm gonna take this one. I think this is called Rising Star. I'm just gonna pop it on the center of the lid. So that gives it a little bit of shimmer. And then I'm going to just go in with this darkest shade. And again, with the thinner brush, just kind of dab that along the lash line rather than wearing um, an eyeliner. And then I'll take a tiny bit down at the bottom. I might just go in with a little bit more of the pinky shade at the top here. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and then go in with this Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. It's in this gold tube. So I've done a couple of uh, coats of mascara and now it's time for brows, which I just find notoriously difficult. Um, so this is the Hourglass, um, what's it called? Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I always get the shade Platinum Blonde, which as you probably will be able to see, I wouldn't say it's platinum. I'd say it's quite a good color for my brows. So I just kind of fill them in. They're, they're quite a good shape already. Um, I don't really do anything to my eyebrows apart from filling them in. So um, I just kind of follow the natural line of them. So they say to put a line between your nose and your eyebrows and that is where your brows should finish. So mine are kind of long actually, if I do it in that way. Just brush them out a bit. And you can see this one looks so much better than this one. So I'm gonna match that and then we'll finish with some lips. So I'm just actually going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow just to set the brows. And I brush them up a little bit, but not too much. And I'm really quickly as well, just gonna go in the waterline with this stick. It's the Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Forest. I'm just gonna pop this in the waterline here. I just feel like it gives the eye a lot more definition. And then I've got a new lip combo, which I have discovered. Again, Beauty Pie, this is actually something they sent to me the other day. So this is a Wonder Gel Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Rummy Pink. To give this a sharpen, but I don't know where my um, sharpener is buy a new one. I do tend to bring the colour of my liner 
into my lips as well. And then another newbie from Beauty Pie is this lipstick. So this is the Future Lipstick Matte Lipstick in the shade All Day Long. And it's this really nice, strong, rosy pink shade, but not too pink. And I feel like as soon as you put this on, it really picks up the um, pinky tones in the rest of the look. And then finishing off with this amazing lip gloss. So this is from Fenty Beauty. It's a gloss balm in the color Fussy. It's such a good gloss. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. You don't need too much of it either. Just kind of dot it on and it makes for a really nice and shimmery party gloss. And then I'm going to finish off with another heavy spritz of the MZ Skin. And I think we're pretty much done my hair out. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. All the products will be linked below. If you want to see more of these from me, let me know. I'm definitely no makeup expert, but this is just what works for me. And I actually find that all of these products have been lasting really well on my skin all day. And I don't know whether that's due to kind of the way I'm applying it, the products themselves, or the um, layering of the setting spray. Maybe all together they help. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, it's just a kind of bit glam, but you can kind of every day, you can layer it up if you wanted to. You could go a bit heavier on the darker shades. You could add a bit more of the shimmery shades in the Bobbi Brown palette. Um, and just kind of layer it up like that. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.